speaker is uh, Dr. Tuantong uh, Judagate from Ubon Ratchatani University in Thailand. Okay. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. And uh, thank you, Naka and Organizing Team, for having me. I will tell you the stories about the success story of the culture based fishery in Thailand. In this, I am just the presenter since most of the work have to be credit to the Department of Fisheries Thailand, in particular, Dr. Marasi Kamsi, who she uh, is the head of the culture based fishery in Thailand. Okay, I just show you about the history of the fish stocking in, in Thailand. Indeed, the fish stocking in Thailand is not, uh, not, not new. We start a project called the Fish for Communities about uh, 40 years ago. And in that time, most of the work is about uh, digging the pond for the village and then uh, providing the fish fingering of fishes to the community to uh, uh, create uh, the, the fish production in the pond that have just been built. And also from the success of that Fish for Community, there's also the Fish for School project that again, the government dig the pond in the school and uh, release the fish fingering in, in, in the pond. And then the production uh, turned to be the, the food for the students uh, for their lunch, in particular, the school in the rural areas. In terms of the large water body, we have the project called the fishery enhancement, which already about uh, 70, 80 years already. And then uh, the Department of Fishery, they regularly stock of the freshwater fish and some kind of other aquatic animal into the large water body, such as the reservoir, the river and uh, last led in, in the country for uh, enhance the fishery production. And also there is the program called indigenous fish conservation, which is the stocking of the indigenous fish species, which is the project type for trying to be the con conservative approach, conservation approach under the patronage of the queen mothers. And from this kind of project, there's a problem in terms of monitoring. There's a problem of uh, systematic uh, monitoring. There's a problem in terms of the working on the uh, best practice of culture. So there start the new era of culture-based fishery in Thailand in just uh, five years ago in the project we call the new term in terms of the aquatic animal food bank projects. Indeed, it's the kind of CBF. And we uh, work more on scientific-based approach and that uh, scientific approach, of course, we based on the works of our great mentor, Professor Senada Siwa, and then from that uh, of his work and also the work uh, from NACA based practice effort for CBF in, in Asia, we follow that uh, suggestion. We adapt from what have been recommended in, in, in the text. And then we uh, work in kind of more scientific uh, approach and the DOF provide the seed budget for the community who involved in the project for pond preparation and also provides uh, some fingerings. And during the phase of the project, there's a cross consultation by the DOF staff and the communities who involved in project, their works uh, close together. And in each year, there is a uh, award provided to the community that show the best practice in either term of production or in either term of the management practice. And the step or concept of the aquatics uh, animal food bank is the kind of the co-management involvement. At first, after the project have been approved by the government, uh, we organized the administrative body and we uh, assigned whom will uh, be the leader of project who will take part in the project, both from the government side and both from the the, the community size. 
And after we already set up the administrative and in charge body, now it's, uh, we turn to for the capacity building program to the board, the fishery officer, and the community committee who will involve in, in the projects in terms of the training course, in terms of the experience sharing, in terms of the uh, uh, sharing data correction system. And once the community has ready to start the project, we start the project by uh, release the, the, the fish in the pond, uh, follow the instruction by the, the NACA books. And then uh, we before that, we also uh, prepare the, the pond in, in the shape that uh, will be most uh, enhanced in terms of the fish that we stock into the system. And then uh, at the end, we perform the harvesting, right? And in terms of harvesting, we try to do in terms of the transparent uh, data monitoring and transparent procedure, either in terms of the uh, calculate the, the production or in terms of the the funding or revenues to, to the communities. With this project, we hope that it will strengthen the villager, increase the income to the villagers, the community able to manage their community upon by themselves and ensure full security in the, uh, the, the village that involved in the projects. And our uh, ultimate goal is about uh, to produce the freeze production from this CBF system, about 200 kilogram per lines, or about 1,200 1, kilogram per hectare. This is our ultimate goal. And I, I show you the picture in terms of the activities that we have already conducted. And I told you uh, for, from the previous slide that we have the program into capacity buildings of the uh, fisheries, uh, of, sorry, of the village. So we uh, uh, taught them about the water storage system. We taught them about the species combination. We taught them about the uh, size of the fish that should be released into the system. We taught them about the uh, impact of the predator species if they are still exist in the system. We discuss with them about the optimum size of the pond that should be yield the highest uh, production in terms of when we uh, perform the, the, the CBF system. And we also discuss them in terms of the how to increase the the natural food resource in, into the system as the, the food resource to either the native species in the pond or to the stock species. Also, we conduct the capacity building to the DOF staff. For the DOF staff, most of the capacity building is about how to measure the fish growth, how to measure the survival, how to uh, estimate the production, uh, how to um, estimate uh, lab, uh, the, the production or, or the survival of, of the stocking species, and then how to um, make the cycle of the management to be the most effective for the CBF in the pond that is uh, district, provincial fishery, district fishery officer uh, take care. This picture uh, just uh, show you about the collaboration closely between the communities and the DF staff, right? Uh, during the day, they make the, 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 the put the haze into the pond. Also, the staff from the department of fishery involved. They involved in every project from the day one until the harvesting day. And also during the period of stocking, the Department of Fishery Officer or staff, they regularly visit to the pond and monitor the, the, the data. 
And the highlight is also about uh, is the mobile hatchery system that DOF have been invent to uh, breeding the adult fish in that area of the of, of the pond that will be stocked. So if the uh, villager they can produce the seeds by themselves, so maybe in the future there's no need to buy the seed stock from from any farm they can uh, do by themselves. And also during the project phase, there is the sharing of experience, sharing of experience in culture-based fishery, both in terms of within the communities, among the communities, since the DOF also provide a budget to travel of its community to visit the, the best practice communities. And so the DOF organized a workshop on culture-based fisheries uh, to, as the panel to change, exchange the, the knowledge and to present the, the performance of its uh, village that involved in the project. There is also the Facebook group uh, to experience sharing and uh, technical uh, information uh, sharing uh, among the DOF staff and also the villagers uh, who involved in the projects. For in terms of the assessment, uh, just last year, Dr. Marasi have a report that in terms of the success of the culture-based fishery of the village pond who involved in the project, the pond condition in terms of the nutrients is uh, big, uh, increased quite significantly and the uh, uh, satisfactory uh, of the villager who involved in project is quite high as well. The, she performed the work by using the land liquor score and you can see that uh, most of the category are almost full in five score. Uh, we also conduct the relevant work in terms to scientific proof in terms of the trophic overlap between the stock species. But we not uh, work in the, in the pond, we work in the cross system that we can make the lep lep replication in the right fields. And we select the, uh, the, the, the stock fish to stock in the in the right field and we come up with the result that all the stock species there can adjust their trophic needs and that show high feeding plastic city. There's really low in, in uh, food overlap among the stock species. And I think this is quite the important scientific proof in terms of the impacts of the stock species to the native species in the system. Another highlight is about the stocking of the giant freshwater pond. As you may, uh, you may aware that the giant freshwater pond uh, always stock in many water bodies, but very low in terms of the recapture rate. But in contrast, it's very high in terms of the price. So we have uh, conducted the scientific work to find out what is the best situation to stock the and freshwater pond in the community-based fisheries, sorry, uh, capture-based fish fisheries. So we uh, try to uh, figure out the factor in the compact of the habitat that release, present or absence of the predator, what the optimum size or is to be released, the effect of the water temperature between the container and between the water system when we release the, 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 the prawn into the system and also the optimum period of time and condition to uh, release the giant fresh water pond into the system. We come up, again, we, we come up with the result that uh, the post V20 and the high complexity with no predator will deal with a uh, quite uh, high performance in terms of the survival of the seeds. And then we come up with the recommended release the seed during the night time due with the higher survival than the daytime and the different in water temperature that are less than two degrees Celsius not impact to the survival of the seeds of giant freshwater pond. 
we also do the field experiment to see the recapture. And you can see that it's very accomplished that we can have at least, uh, let's say that the median about uh, 15 to 20% of the capture of the stock giant freshwater fund, which uh, we very satisfy of the results. And we also working on the trophic system to see the competition of the pond in the system. And we found that the giant freshwater fund, they based on the retitled food chain, not the grazing food chain like other fish that we stop. So that is mean there are less competition between the stock giant fish water pond to other fish species. And after we have the strong scientific uh, evidence, we, uh, the DOF have performed uh, stocking the giant fish water pond into the community pond for the culture-based fishery. And we have a really good result and the result is under analysis and we will uh, publish our work sooner uh, from the start of the experiment until the result of the implementation. And with this success, last year, the Department of Fishery receives the public uh, of the award or from the government in terms of best practice in public service in terms of the effective options that uh, increase the life quality of the community, which is really at the achievement of the Department of Fisheries. For the future perspective, what we discuss among the team, uh, maybe the perception of the PCF among the stakeholder, we want to know that how the, the, the other stakeholder, other than the, the villager who involved in the program themselves, uh, how they uh, list up uh, perceive uh, on the benefit or how they um, react to the, to the culture-based fishery program. And we developed the proposal with the Japanese uh, organization about the stocking of the small indigenous species in the CBF system like the previous presentation by Dr. Hussein that the SIS species may be very important and may be the good candidate to stock into the CBF. And then we tried to apply the IMTA into the CBF by uh, finding the candidate of the snail, of the shells, or more last species, and also some uh, aquatic vegetable into the system. And we also discussed among the team about the uh, the cell recruit species into the CBF system. And that's all for my presentation. Thank you. Thank you.